Tamariki. Nō reira, tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou katoa. I want to start by thanking Te Puni Kōkiri and Supuri for the opportunity to share our office's mana mukupuna framework. It is an absolute privilege to be among our cultural leaders who have paved the way for emerging Māori frameworks. I want to acknowledge our Children's Commissioner, Judge Beecroft, who has given our office the, freed the freedom to explore how we might improve our responsiveness to mukupuna Māori. I want to acknowledge Dr. Leela Nerufu and Dr. Moana Iruera. It is through their tireless work um, on Te Toko Tu Moana that the Mana Mokopuna framework was born. To, under to understand the difference that Mana Mokopuna will make for our work, it is important to first understand our work and the journey to get to where we are now. So our office has a wide set of statutory functions. Um, these are set out in the Children's Commissions Act, the Crimes of Torture Act, and the Children, Young Persons and Their Families Regulations. The statutory functions that are most relevant to mana mukupuna are our functions to monitor and assess the policies and practices of which was CYF and is now Orana Tamariki, encourage the development of policies and services designed to promote the welfare of children and young people, advise the Minister on matters um, pertaining to the administration of the Act, and keep under review and make recommendations on the workings of the Act. In a nutshell, we're responsible for monitoring Oranga Tamariki and providing them with um, our findings and recommendations. In 2013, we identified that we needed to um, have a more robust approach to our monitoring work. We wanted to make our recommendations more strategic. In the past, our recommendations focused primarily on practice. Um, however, we were aware that we needed to actually look at the entire system and look at organisational performance. Um, in 2013, we worked with Child, Youth and Family to develop our monitoring framework. Um, and the framework consists of four organisational performance domains and four quality of social work um, domains. We agreed at the time that we would have two golden threads, the voices of mukupuna and outcomes for mukupuna, and they would be woven through each of the domains. We thought by doing this, it would highlight the importance across every single domain. It was impor important that child, youth and family understood what we were looking for in terms of best practice and organisational performance. Therefore, we worked collaboratively with CYF, including staff from the Chief Social Worker's Office, um, to create a performance rubric, which is essentially a scoring tool. Um, basically, we go into um, all of the CYF sites across the country and the nine secure residences, which are Youth Justice and Care and Protection, and we rate how well they're performing. We then write up reports, we meet with child, youth and family, we share our findings and make recommendations. When we developed the monitoring framework, we thought having responsiveness to Māori as a key thread would ensure that the needs of Māori would be more visible and therefore strongly influ influence our findings and recommendations. But three years after using our general monitoring framework, our team agreed that something was culturally missing. We believed it was because we were trying to assess the needs of mokopuna through a, a Western generic Tauiwi lens. So we wanted to challenge ourselves as a largely Tauiwi organisation. We wanted to tell a clear, coherent and culturally strong story about the experiences of Mokopuna, who we have the privilege of meeting. 
In 2016, with the announcement that there would be considerable change within CYF and a clear direction for a child-centred system that prioritises Māori, we set up to develop the Mana Mukapuna framework. Um, there are elements of the framework that are, that are important for you to know. Um, the whakapapa of the framework is child, youth and families to took a tūmuana bicultural principled framework. Um, the te tuka tūmuana was the first framework that we looked at because it obviously has clear synergies um, with our kaupapa. Um, a Māori worldview is the starting point of the framework. Um, and you would have heard today, and um, probably since the beginning of time, um, any framework that's for Māori must start with a te ao Māori lens. The framework takes an aspirational approach. It is mana enhancing. It is a mana enhancing framework, and it reminds us that our mukapuna should be treated with dignity and respect, and this cuts the core of our officer's kaupapa. The principles that make up the framework are not new, they have been there from the beginning of time. Um, but the selection of the principles for our framework came very much from the many mukapuna that we have met, um, those that are in care and those are, that are in the youth justice system. And finally, the mana mukapuna framework is an evolving framework, and I say that because our office took a really hard look in the mirror and thought, here we are, the majority of the children that we see are Māori, yet we are still working from a very much a Western lens. So I guess we had to be courageous in that, in that space. Um, we called the, it's important to know why we called the framework mana mokapuna. As you've already heard from previous speakers, um, Mokopuna acknowledges that all children are blueprints of those before them. Mokopuna acknowledges whakapapa. All whakapapa traces back to the beginning of humankind and connects Mokopuna to the Atua. Because Mokopuna are descendants of the Atua, it means that all Mokopuna are born with mana. We strongly believe at the Children's Commissioner's Office that if mokopuna were viewed as descendants of the atua and treated as having equal mana to adults, it would absolutely transform their experiences of the world. As mentioned earlier, mana can never cease, but it can be enhanced or diminished. We are seeking to find out with the mana mokopuna framework what we are seeking to find out, sorry, with the mana mokopuna framework is whether mokopuna experiences of oranga tamariki is enhancing or diminishing their mana. To find this out, we need to know where mokopuna get mana from. We have identified six principles of life that give mokopuna mana. It is these principles that make up the mana mokopuna framework. The framework starts with principle one, whakapapa, acknowledging that before children are even born, they have whakapapa, bloodlines that tie them to their history, to people, to places. They are born into whānau, which is the second principle. Whānau includes extended whānau, hapu and iwi, all of whom are the primary guardians of mukapuna. It is through whānau that mukapuna feel aroha, human touch, breath, song, words, emotion, body language. The fourth principle is kaitiakitanga. Kaitiakitanga is about stable, safe, nurturing, healthy and accessible environments, including home environments, community environments and any other environments that touch children. It is through whakapapa, whānau, aroha and kaitiakitanga that mukapuna can find their voice, have agency and be leaders. This is rangatiratanga, and it is the fifth principle that makes up the framework. The final principle is mātauranga. Mātauranga is about mukapuna having the knowledge they need to both navigate the Māori world and non-Māori worlds. So I just want to give you an example of how we're currently monitoring child, youth and family. 
So I've got up there one of our key domains, which is quality of social work, social work practice. And then underneath that I have one of our current subdomains, uh, which is quality of safety screening, assessment and investigation. And why this is important is because our key domains drive all of our inquiry. What I've also put up there is our two golden threads. So these are our mukapuna Māori inquiry questions that we ask at the moment. When we implement mana mukapuna, the eight domains will no longer be the key areas that drive our inquiry. Instead, the principles will become the critical domains that we will base our inquiries on, and the former domains will be the areas that we assess each principle against. So here's an example. You will see that principle whakapapa is at the top of the graphic, and you will see that as a result of having whakapapa as the key driver of our analysis, it then requires us to ask further questions as demonstrated in the bold question up on the screen. What's more, the Mana Mokopuna framework will be, will be rating Mokopuna's experiences of Oranga Tamariki against the six principles rather than the eight domains we have currently. That's quite significant. That means we'll be rating them against Whakapapa, against Fano, against Aroha, Kaitiakitanga, Rangatiratanga, and Matauranga. This brings the importance of Te Ao Māori to the forefront of our monitoring work. What difference will the Mana Mukapuna framework make? Well, first, we hope it will support us to tell a more coherent and connected and culturally, culturally strong story about the needs of Mukapuna. As I mentioned earlier, the current structure of our reports segments the experience of Mukapuna under each Western domain. We want to bring that together. Um, second, it would enable us to monitor through a Te Ao Māori lens so that our findings and recommendations are culturally rich and culturally strong. Third, it will keep us focused on Mukapuna's experiences of the system. And I say that because we are always out travelling and, and in fact over the last three weeks we've been um, up and down from Auckland meeting with amazing practitioners who work for CYF and who will work for Oranga Tamariki and sometimes you kind of want to rate them on the effort as opposed to the experiences of Mukapuna Māori and this framework just keeps us focused. This is about Mukapuna's experiences. Um, finally, it will strengthen the voices of Mukapuna, Fano, Hapu and Iwi. Um, so whakapapa, Fano, and rangatiratanga are our three, three key domains that will drive our inqu inquiry and what we will rate CYF against. So it means that we'll be really looking to see that their voices are part of the practice. Okay, just briefly. Well, we've, um, we're moving pretty quickly. <laughs> um, we want to seek further feedback about mana mukapuna and we'll be working closely with the Chief Social Worker's Office and um, Oranga Tamariki to ensure that we do align with, with their frameworks. And we hope to test it in July and implement um, the framework across um, all of our work in September. And... Um, excuse me. So... Here's a photo of my mukopuna. And I think if there was a competition for the cutest child in the world, he would probably win. Um, <laughs> oh, I'm biased completely. Um, his name is Te Kahui. Um, the name Te Kahui signifies a cluster of stars. Why? Because my moko is of Tokelau, Samoan, Aitutaki, and Māori descent. And his name is, is is an acknowledgement that his descendants migrated the vast Pacific Ocean through the stars. Te Kahui's full name is Te Kahui Samuel Kawata Horatio Titodi Wawalu Cruikshank. Each name, uh, and we had a big hui, by the way, <laughs> been on for a while. Um, we didn't do too badly for, um, yeah, anyway. Each name carries the whakapapa of his ancestors. Um, and I do have to say, I've kept Te Kahui close to my heart 
when developing this framework um, alongside my colleagues, and I know that they have also kept their tamariki and mukopuna close to their hearts. As this is our first public presentation of mana mukopuna, I want to dedicate this presentation to my mukopuna and the mukopuna of my colleagues. Um, tēnā koutou.